TV movies of the week. Um, we post the dozen best films on subscription-free telly on our socials every week. The selection this week includes Happy Gilmore, uh, Ida, Goldeneye, uh, The Gift, and Stand By Me. Lloyd says, has to be the odd couple. Lemon and Mattel uh, are always great, sparking off each other. And the soundtrack by Neil Hefty is one of the best. Is that Neil Hefty from the Batman TV show? I suspect it is. David Blanar, uh, Ida for sure, beautiful cinema uh, and deserves a much wider audience. Becky Azen, uh, Stand By Me would win on the scene where they're debating the nature of Goofy's identity alone. Jake says The Gift is one of my favourite thrillers of the past decade. Excellent performances from the three leads. An ending that still hasn't left my mind and a fantastic directorial effort from Joel Edgerton. Hopefully he'll direct something great again after The Misjudged Boy Erased. Uh, Cactu Sakic says Happy Gilmore is the best of Sandler's comedy work. Golden Eyes, the best of the Brosnan Bonds. Stand By Me is a masterpiece that started a five film run of legit classics uh, from Reiner. I'll pick Ida because I haven't seen it and I adored Cold War. Mark will pick Kubo or Hummingbird. TV movies of the week, Mark, what are we going for? Yeah, I'm going to go for Hummingbird. Well done for picking that up. And here's the reason Hummingbird is, in my opinion, one of the films that demonstrates most ably just how far Jason Statham's acting range had developed by that point, which is 2013. And it absolutely came and went. It was seen by almost nobody. And just over the weekend, I was doing an interview with uh, Ben Wheatley, who, as you know, made In the Earth and is about to do The Meg 2 with The Stath. And I asked him what his favourite Stath movie was. And he says, I mean, I said, but have you seen Hummingbird? And he said, I'm going to have to have to see Hummingbird because I've been flying the flag for Hummingbird for ages. So, I mean, Hummingbird has flaws, but I think it's a very interesting film. And brilliantly, and this is another reason why it's lovely to be able to say this, Hummingbird is nine at night tonight, Friday, on guess which station? BBC One. Five Channel star. Four. Oh, five, five star, star. Oh, okay. five star have actually for the first time five star have got five stars uh four worst movies on tv next week might be rollerball 2001 mother's day daddy's home 2 or dukes of hazard jay robertson says i've seen all of these movies some more than once and the worst by far is rollerball lalo schwarzenegger uh rollerball is like watching your favorite sports legend get blindsided by father time and diminished talent i can't believe it's on the same director's filmography as predator and die hard amy patterson daddy's home 2 was offensively bad mel gibson playing a bigoted alpha was not the knowing wink to the audience that they hoped lazy boring gross that has to be the worst and david charlie oaks dukes of hazard there's, a, there's one scene where they just open a door and there's loads of naked girls in a room for absolutely no reason then they close the door and the film continues uh, which kind of different differentiates it i think from the tv show i remember um what would be the tv movie of the week so bad it's bad well it would be beautiful symmetry to go for the dukes of hazard because that is on five star and that would mean again five star back to no star i'm actually going to go for rollerball because in terms of the the possibilities and the actuality it's it's the biggest gap. So the original Rollerball, I think, is a masterpiece. And John McTiernan obviously has films like Die Hard on his CV. So how the Rollerball remake managed to be quite so terrible is anybody's guess. Uh, Rollerball, incidentally, the original film, is based on a short story called Rollerball Murder, which it is worth reading because it is a very good short story that perfectly encapsulates all the themes that are in the original Rollerball, which is a classic and Rollerball 2001, the John McTiernan remake, is not a classic. It is when nine, can I avoid at that? Night on sun nine at night on Sunday on the Horror Channel, and I would advise you to do so, but I also advise you to seek out the original Rollerball because it's, you know, I mean, yes, it's very 70s, but it, it's a, it is a classic.